This is in Roma, one of the safest neighborhoods in Mexico City. See some of the buildings, very elegant designs. Some of the old buildings have been replaced by modern apartment buildings. Plenty of trees. Pleasant. Street side vendors are common. Some of them are open in the morning, some in the evening. Not too late, they don't stay up too late. Let me get red lamps ready. There it gradually is old houses are demolished. You see some of these elegant structures demolished and they're converted into modern apartments. And some of the apartments are rented out, it's RBMB, another facility. Seems to be evacuation points marked for safety on the side of the street. Eight to thirty in the morning. Bit of traffic as people are going to work. This is senior centre, like many institutions run by the Catholic Church. Interesting architecture. Relatively flat, so it's just actually convenient for cycling. Price of gas and pesos per litre. Toilets for customers. Mm -hmm. for bicycles, small benches. This is quite a nice area. It's a very important, very nice mural here. People are enjoying the tattoo. This seems to be a popular place. The making the Odd pieces of wire hang down for the uh, many legal extractions. Maybe some people are taking advantage of some extra electricity. It's a very typical modern apartment complex that I would have replaced the traditional buildings gradually urban renovation. The street we've been walking on is Kohula. The 
see even the rush out of a side street is really quiet. Somebody's been sweeping their leaves. It's almost like it's asleep in this neighborhood. Sweeping the footpath, it's a bit clean. Some cafes ready for business, a coffee. Very elegant style of the old buildings. See here an urban garden. So he's taken the time to grow different plants. Making the place beautiful. These uh, to stop the cars driving on the footpath, they seem to have been hit at occasional times. A convenience store, brand Oxo is all around. Corner of Bahela and Monterey. Facials and massage. Now I start to smell chili. Going to walk to Madeleine Market, see if it's open. Sweet cakes, coffee. Sweet bread and pastries seem to be a very popular thing. So this is the Madeline Market. Maybe a bit early for some of the shops, but let's see what's inside. Okay, well, the meat has arrived. The sun is almost everything. Many different snacks. Many of the regular shops. Not yet open at 8 30 in the morning. Toilets. Five. You can enter. This English thing. Let's see the life of a morning market. You can get something to eat. It actually looks really nice. I need to Fruits and vegetables just about set up. The meat is just loading in. Chicken.
to like uh, poultry. Interestingly, there's very little smell of meat. Good steaks if you want. What's interesting also is that there's basically no prices written anywhere. So fish fish shop has got the ice ready. But the fish is still to be bought, I guess, from the market. Of course they have frozen but later the fish will come. So high over Windows Street getting ready for the morning market. So it's the smell of fruit. It's a really large, like a taro cactus. potatoes. Some are really quite pretty. Nuts, horses. Interesting vegetable here, okay. Lots of beans, eggs. Bananas. So it goes on both sides. The market of Madeleine. Picturesque on top. Coming in to go shopping, good place for fresh fruit. It's lollies and sweets. You can get almost everything. This is important. Vision food. Interesting. I have the sorts of important food. Some really black avocados here. Some dried fish. And then there's chilies. Lots and lots of chilies. Seems to be a festival atmosphere here.
20 pesos. This is the central area. It seems to be like a place for eating. Red plants. and tacos. This here looks yummy. Baskets. The basket shop is opening. You can see people starting to open the covers here. 8.45. This is on Monterey Street. See here, an example. Some very interesting plants. I haven't seen these before. It's very thin. Shoots are coming off when they're cut. Very thin form of cactus. It's a bus stop. Line two. Cars are out. This is for wheelchair access. The footpath is flat. <coughs> it's a little bit bumpy, but it's manageable, I guess. This is uh, for dogs, cats. There's so many pets in a hostel. Street side vendors. Seems to have a bottle of instant coffee and some hot water. It's a bit cool with so many trees. Must be really pleasant in the summer. Shop selling work clothes. <coughs> this man likes dogs. Some really modern urban architecture. Built across the street. Different generations. Please pick up your own dog poo. Actually, this neighborhood, there's very little dog poo. It's maybe impossible to stop the dog smelling.
petrol station. Shoppers and tunnel. Hey, what's there? It's the architecture we've seen. The lights seems to be the Hotel Roma. Construction. This is a Sunday market. Mercato 100. Mercato 100. You can see herbs. People are setting up the fruits. Is it good? Hola. Buenos dias. Buenos Mercado. Celery. Some nice produce. Fruits and vegetables, papaya. Pan. Eggs. Cheese. Still a lot of market to set up. Tomatoes. This is in the edge of the park. It's a small market, but it's nice. Farm trees. You can see people came in to bring many things. They drive into Mexico City from the country. And they bring in many, many things. Fresh, which is not. So the informal sector, the market working well. We're bringing in some interesting stuff. Bird of paradise. Really fresh and nice. There's so much traffic in Mexico City. One of the things that contributes to a uh, poor air quality. This is on the side of the Central Park. You can see here the monument to the president, which we saw in the video before. And across here, some of the large banks and hotels, the Hilton, Mexico City, Oklahoma. 
South Africa a place of solidarity. We're going to stop running. It's time to stop. This is spaces for the bikes. The whole zone is a free Wi-Fi. Sunny day, the 19th of December 2019. All sorts of things being sold. Foods, snacks. This is the central monument of solidarity. Lemons and chilies. Many of the street food places here. September 19, 1985, magnitude 8 earthquake in Mexico City. Maybe 40,000 people died. Place of solidarity. Welcome to Mexico. This is the area close to Hidalgo Metro Station, Central Park. People getting ready. Some of the old adjusted bikes. This is for moving the shop. Sleeping on the park. Interestingly also they run electric wires, long electric wires, if you can see, running all the way. And they're coming to check these electric wires through the water, providing some electricity to shops. People playing chess. <laughs> so from this side of Solidarity, it's the Museum Morales Diego Rivera. It's just next to the Central Park. history of the construction of the hotel and then photographs from the moving So close to the um, 
mural museum of Diego Rivera, the Central Park. Alexandra Humbrook, anniversary bicentennial of his Some of the things you shouldn't be doing. No roller skating, no skateboarding, cycling, motorbikes, don't be offering vending, and don't have the dogs do poo. picture on outside of the mural. The mural, as we saw in the video, is a wonderful people taking it easy. Dado Metro Station enjoying the sunshine. Uh, I don't think they're meant to do skateboarding. I think they haven't read the sign. Church I saw before. City bus. About seventeen degrees Celsius. I'm in short sleeves, but some people are dressed very warmly. We're getting the shoe shine. Work is having their break. It's a nice place in the park for a picnic between your work. Some of the buildings in Mexico City are on a significant recline. Underneath is a liquid, very soft. Gradually over time, parts of the central city seem to start leaning. Enjoy the service of Wi-Fi. I just want one to go in the church. It looks sort of closed. The fact that this scaffolding doesn't mean it is necessarily closed for a good, but certainly needed repair. San Juan de Dos. Still offering services. The next church up the road also has a significant lean. Whether they survived the earthquake with a lean or just sinking. Still a lot of construction. So I did venture across the road and see a lot of construction going on. 
tiles. Museum. So despite its ominous appeal, We can see the dramatic shape of the church in front. It's on a really significant angle. Next to the church is the museum, Franz Mayer. It is open. 60 pesos. It's free on Tuesdays. So that's museum, that's Maya. In this courtyard that's between two churches. It's a large plaza. We look further at these buildings. We have the postal museum, post office the museum, the beautiful arts. There's the Museum of Stamps. <coughs> and the workers here. The bronze figure. Somebody's sleeping here. Plaza Santa Vera Cruz. Trees still growing on the facade of the church. It's over the central. In the building at the back is the National Postal Museum. Into the next bit song. You can see the development of wide patios and places for people to enjoy. This 
is Mexico City. Metro station. Lots. You can see the large complex and the museum. Many things going on. Modern theatre. A dialogue. Quite a good bus system. Metro system is well marked. former post office. It's now the Postal Museum. There's some street art. It's back. Inside we see the old designs. Let's go in. You can see the Postal Museum. This is the old post office, but actually, still some people buying stamps. And trespassing. And there are stairs. It's a beautiful staircase. Placed 1580, first. Birth of Mexican. See the wave at the Art Nouveau buildings are made. It's a postman meeting space. Exhibition area. Exhibition of Transport. Liberation struggle. Nationalization. movies, films that were made. There's historic pictures in the history of Mexico. This is a mosaic. And then we have some old chairs. 
the carriage used to be like. This is the mosaic. You come back further, you can see the images of the mountains. This love of art. And the eagle, the national symbol, seen in some of the murals as well. Passport from Spain to become Mexico. Refugees from World War II, foster parents for Spanish children. It's quite cool inside this building, it keeps its temperature. Wow. Beautiful building. Still a functioning post office. Next to the Palace of Beautiful Arts. money all around the city. Cuba Street. Some grand buildings. Collection of the National Museum of Art. The National School that was closed. These buildings in this quarter are all quite impressive. Beautiful entrance lobby as well. Looking from the other side, you can see the impressive building. It houses both the National Museum of Art and also on the side the Telegraph Museum. the buildings here a few hundred years old. On the telegraph museum. It's beautiful beautiful ceiling.
We also have some beautiful porcelain. The trunk used to look like when traveling. Drawers. Very ornate tea service. Ceiling is beautiful. Like on the rear. An exhibition of icons. This cultural exchange and art is really appreciated in this school. Of the history of Moscow. <laughs> Challenges of communication, telegraph, laying of a submarine cable across the Atlantic. Development of technology, quickly Morse code was used. Telegraph. So this is the museum. The telegraph here. The doors go through to the rest of the National Museum. was the introduction of the telegraph to Mexico. This palace is beautiful. The construction of red telegraph telephone system. This traces the development of a technology for communication. An early attempt. A trial telegraph transmitter. Lights. So, Russian art, Fabia eggs. So, the space of a telegraph museum has free exhibition space for different exhibits. Telegraph was important for the revolution.
how to construct modern Mexico. Some of the figures involved in the construction. And the gap between the rural and the urban. Communications use satellites. The end of the era of Morse code. in the Central Park. Next to the Bella Arts. 1970, 11th of September. Beginning of the metros. Just now well established. These people, most of them came from the metro. Fifty years of a metro, 1970. So it was two years after the Olympic Games. This is the lobby of Avella Arts. You can see the wonderful marble that is used in the construction. Decorations, this sort of gift shop, still closed. Last year's most only. See you on your second floor picture. Look up to the center area. You can see the, the stone. Marble. This is a very grand, solid structure you can see. Nouveau style. The metal. The ceiling. The ceiling is surprising. Let's in the light. Vamos a ingresar el segundo grupo de 20. Gracias. Adelante. Boleto en mano, por favor. Es un beautiful marble design. Lights also. The 
inside and try to examine the national. Many photographs. Emiliano created the cult. of a national hero. The pictures of Zapata. Very wonderful hat we saw at the beginning. Nineteen thirty one was a part of Hat, moustache, and a horse, and this hat. It's also used as a North American as well. Steinbeck's Viva Capata. I have a display for sign language as well. I bled, I prayed, and when it's time for me, I'm like, it would be a mess. Am I creating images? I want to die for the revolutions. Images of liberty, revolution, Zapata. Mm. 
this is image showing your internal organs his heart, his lungs his tongues. this is a very unusual image who is painting Arnold Belkin so Mexico has a number of national heroes Interesting psychology why the countries make a national hero. Commercials. A house husband. <laughs> Revolution was very important. Photographs. Many guerrilla wars. Coming out to the main forum again. Another exhibit is on art. The Avant Garde Network. America and Latin America. We also have sign language. Foundings. This is the network for the avant garde in Mexico. Emilio Poturiti, Carlo Leto. Murals. Future. Modernity. This building represents modern life. As we move around. Explanations. This palace is beautifully preserved.
ciencias se dice en su cara. Let's see. Protections. There's mirrors. Hands grasping a heart, organs. So this dead person is a victim of fascism. Diego Rivera, carnival of life. There are guns. Carnival of Life of Mexicana. Conceive this love of pre classical and pre Hispanic Mexican life. So these are a set of three murals by Diego Rivera in the Palace of Beautiful Arts. In the distance we can see them as well. life and revolution is a strong messages that would justify death and fighting I think is the people here are smiling Very powerful. You see different art forms here. So they try and portray many of the artists. <laughs> of indigenous art. themes in this art. Politics.
displays, or the Arunga. It's an interesting exhibit. And the setting, of course, is wonderful. This is in the station Bella Arts. And the correspondence to direction line 8. moving in the metro. <laughs> Constitution 1917. It's the station to the change trains here. This line one in the direction of the observatory. The station. So many mirrors. Station Bella Arts Correspondence Find 8 in that direction You can see here This area is reserved for ladies and infants It's a presentation Beliefs A lot of ladies are walking down to a ladies only section, clearly to avoid harassment. Some models of release it represents the decapitation of people. Wi-Fi also has metro. It's a very connected city. Mayan culture. You can see this is the ordinary life. People in Mexico City. There's even a cipher center, internet. Parts of art all around Mexican City. Respondents, donuts seem to be popular. It's a really large city.
wheelchair friendly. Correspondence to line eight. Beautiful arts, the construction. We've seen it in the video outside. This is how it was constructed. Celebration from 1904, design 85 years ago, construction. My snacks. Cameras are in operation. Line 8 has two directions. Constitution 1917. Interesting mules. Like people exit on one side, then they enter from the other side. This is another metro station and we see more uh looking at the construction of the metro. to change from line 8 to line 1. A series of paintings which record the construction of the city metro system. It's very interesting. Seriously. Here for posterity we see how they opened up and then closed on the avenues next to the city metro. I was on the wrong side. You can see the direction signs for people to walk. This direction, in the middle. This 
is Soto de Agua. Metro station. Separation for people moving. This is Takubaya station and there's more arts. Not only I, but others are also enjoying. So there's just displays of culture. Very interesting. It's art. Outside of Takibaya Metro, see lots of shops. It's like a fair and market. Children's play area. Uh, this is concrete. Not as safe as it could be. The children still enjoy. The informal sector. It's a big part of the economy. Restaurants outside. Toilets. If you want to use the toilets, five is the standard rate. Various forms, perhaps. Exiting from the station, it's a little bit of a dodgy area. Oh, it's a nice park. Fountains and murals. The dogs clinic, veterinarian. tree is surrounded by bricks to try and stop the cars damaging it. One is reassured by the presence of police in some of the neighborhoods of Mexico City. This tree has grown well over the concrete. This is the route to the National Museum of Maps. Sort of in an out of a way place. Next to the Military Academy. So this is the National Museum of Maps. I wonder if it's open. 
but you have to go around another way. This is the military academy next to it. It's in amongst the highways. The roads have been built around Let's see. The flag above a military academy. Welcome. Okay. The sign says welcome. Coming from the main road. You see various houses. Some people have really taken plants to the garden. Away right from the highway, just one street or two. It's totally quiet. Onions. We're cutting the trees. Small neighborhood park. Classic car. Where do you want to go? So some of our main road corridors into Mexico City. Just go south of the uh, Great Park, Chadwick's Park. See the traffic coming in. Stylish designs. amongst the dust. <laughs> 